you able to explain sort of the last six or seven months? Because obviously you came close to the, the move to Bournemouth, mm. that fell through, and then amazingly found yourself out of Chelsea. So yeah. can you just kind of put it into words how, how that has worked out for you? Yeah, I mean, it was like um, very difficult because, you know, the injury and all this stuff, but, you know, always when one door is closed, another is open, you know. So, and then I went back and I worked harder. So, and then it was getting easier for me. A bit of fate sometimes? Is it fate, fate in these things? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I have faith. Yeah, of course. That's why, you know, I have faith. When I went, I was not angry, you know, I was okay, you know, and I knew, you know, everything happens for a reason. So, you know, I went back and I worked harder, and then it shows up. Nicholas, a couple of questions for TalkSport as well. Can you just explain some of your idols and who you model yourself on as a footballer? Yeah, I mean, when I was young, Cristiano Ronaldo, and then when I was going, when I was getting older, Neymar, you know, obviously Messi was not my idol, but I love him so much. But, you know, those two was my idol when I was young. And at the end of the game, you had a slightly animated conversation with Mikhailo. Was that just you trying to give him some guidance as to how he can get the best out of you and you him? Yeah, yeah, he was trying to tell me how to first understand each other, how to do movements for us to play better. So, and then we have been doing that in training, so we need to practice that a lot in training and then show it in the pitch. So that, that's what we were talking about. And do you relish the challenge of leading Chelsea's front line, knowing how many iconic strikers have done that? Yeah, I mean, everything is a risk and then when you work hard, everything shows. And I'm always, I'm very happy, you know, to play in this amazing team. And I know they have many big, big strikers. But I don't have pressure, so I've never had pressure in my life, so I will go with myself and believe in myself and then prove everybody wrong. Nine goals in your last eight La Liga games. What was the key to that momentum? Yeah, it's believing and working hard. And my, the coach trusted me, all the players trusted me. They were playing. Um, I was talking to them. I was like, uh, you know, talking to everybody and then they were helping me a lot. So, and then that's why I was performing very well. And just a final word on Maurizio Pochettino. What kind of manager has he been for you and how has talks with him helped you settle quickly at the football club? Yeah, he went since the day I came, he helped me a lot. We talk a lot and then obviously he speaks Spanish and we talk in Spanish and in English. So he's helping me a lot and he's one of the best coach in the world. So I'm very, very happy to work with him and I hope we'll do amazing things in this club. Well done today. Thanks for your yeah, time. Thank you. I was thinking about always, like always scoring, you know, and making the team win, you know. That was always in my mind, so that's why I scored and helped the team to win. How important is it for a striker like yourself, target man, big goal scorer, how important is it to get off the mark early? I know it's not a competitive game, but just to get that feeling of scoring goals. Yeah, it's very important because we, we need to score goals and help the team to win, you know, great as he score. And our position is very important, so you know we need to help the team a lot. So that's why you know we have to work very hard to help the team to win. You look very happy as well for Michaelo scoring uh, his first goal. Yeah, it just looked like such a huge moment for him. Yeah, very happy for him. Very happy. You know, he has been working very hard, you know, every day after gym, you know, every day. So I'm very, very, very happy for him. How are you settling in? How are you settling into the squad? Yes, no. Yeah, yeah, it's good, it's good. Very happy. You know? I speak English, so I can speak to everybody. You know? <laughs> yeah. and I speak Spanish too, so. Right, okay. So it's you're an interpreter for people like that. Yeah. Already comparing you to the great Didier Drogba, how does it feel when you get compared to a club legend? Maybe yeah. It's that true. Yeah, I mean, it feels great, but I don't want to compare myself with him because he's a legend. Unless I do what he has done, that's when I will compare myself to him. Okay. I hope so. I will be like him. Okay, thank yeah, you. Thank you so much. Well done. Estamos con Jackson. Si nos puedes decir cómo ha sido el trato con Pochettino. Sí, sí, muy bien, muy guapo, porque él es muy grande y me está ayudando mucho y ayudando a todo el equipo y estamos muy contentos con él y él está contento con nosotros. Expectativas para la próxima temporada. Eh, silencio. Can you talk about this experience 